O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus, think on me, and purge away my sin. From earth born passion set me free, and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me, with care and woe oppressed, let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me amid the battle strife. In all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray through darkness and perplexity. Point thou the heavenly way. How wonderful is this knowledge of yours, that you have shown me, Lord. O oh Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk, I lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O oh Lord, through and through. Behind and before you besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Or oh, where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. How wonderful is this knowledge of yours that you have shown me, Lord. I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, 
for the oneness of all your creation. Already you knew my soul. My body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and moulded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish I must be eternal like you. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I fall on the wrong path and lead me in the path of life eternal. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Let us give thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created, through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Work for your salvation in fear and trembling, for it is God, for his own loving purpose, who puts both the will and the action into you. Do all that has to be done without complaining or arguing, and then you will be innocent and genuine. You will be children of God. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. When you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. 
holy's name. His mercies from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. When you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. To God be honour and glory. He has sealed the new covenant in the blood of Christ and renews it in the sacrament of the altar. In confidence we pray. Lord, bless your people. Lord, guide nations and their rulers according to your will. May they work for the common good with one mind and heart. Lord, bless your people. Renew the spirit of service in those who have left all to follow Christ. May the holiness of your church be revealed in their lives. Lord, bless your people who have made all men in your likeness. Help them to rid the world of every injustice. Lord, bless your people. Come with your truth and friendship to those who have lost their way. Teach us how to help them. Lord, bless your people. Let the dead enter into your glory. Let them praise you forever. Lord, bless your people. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Support us, Lord, as with this Lenten fast we begin our Christian warfare, so that in doing battle against the spirit of evil, we may be armed with the weapon of self-denial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.